the biggest thing that I would tell people is that music is life. Like the marching band of Howard is the pulse. If you're giving, if you're participating in the band, you're participating in Howard as a whole. And the things that you come away with as an individual, as a team, are amazing. You have lifelong friends and lifelong relationships that you can then go on and do amazing things. It's it's not an obstacle. It's it's a it's a resource. Um, so give to the band, support the band, get involved in the band. And get involved in, in supporting music education on all levels. Because we can't have a Howard band, a university band, without the dedication and the, the investment on the level of high school and middle school and, and children being exposed to music at a young age. It's been shown that being exposed to music and being exposed to band and, and to, to instrumental music plays a key role in people becoming leaders and people becoming doctors and people becoming all professions. It's, it's the groundwork. It's the foundation. So I would say, you know, Howard and the, and the marching band is the foundation. You should give, you should make sure that you participate and support all of our endeavors. Howard University Showtime Marching Band is the epitome of excellence on a national and international level. And it's a template for HBCUs, it is a powerful family unit. It is a powerful discipline. It is an incredible adventure. There's travel that comes with the Showtime Marching Band. There's unity, there's integrity, there's legacy. The image of the Showtime Marching Band should be like a giant. It's a giant and there's so many people that stand in that body and those who are part of the band get to stand on the shoulders of the body that's been created. It is an amazing infrastructure to the university and it is the voice. It is the rhythm. It is the pulse. It is the reason for my 50 yard Super Bowl halftime show with Prince, with the FAMU marching band. It is full circle in my career. It is the reason that I did the Super Bowl twice then with Beyonce in 2013. I make NFL history as the only drummer or female to play in two of the ten, top 10 Super Bowl halftime shows, but that is because of the Howard Showtime Marching Band. I have founded an international music and art festival, the International Royal Music and Art Festival, and it is because of the Howard Showtime Marching Band that I am who I am. It is why I am Howard. I am the embodiment. Catherine, you are the embodiment of Howard because of the Howard University Showtime Marching Band, because of Thunder Machine, because of the family that was created there, that time, that connection. And whether you're a part of it, whether you're supporting it financially, whether you're supporting it emotionally, whether you are an alum, whether you are in middle school and you're watching this, and you want to see yourself in the future, see yourself connected to the Howard Showtime Marching Band as a national icon, an international icon, and a producer of people who impact the world in multiple industries at the highest level. I think about some of the women that have come before me in the band. Um, Sonia Wiggins Pruitt, who is mm. the first female police captain of Montgomery County, and she was president of the Black uh, Police Officers Union. Um, it was on CNN, and, and these are people who influenced me. Beth Brown, who's the first black female to get a, a PhD in, in astrophysics from the University of Michigan. Um, these are people that came before us and were examples and mentors, and, and, and they were band members. They were people in the band, and, and it doesn't matter. Like I think one of the things that I've learned is that just because you play music, you don't have to be a musician for your life, but you are a musician. Like It's a, it's a part of who you are. I'm always going to be a clarinetist. I play clarinet, baritone horn, and bassoon. Yeah. That's always going to be a part of who I am as a person. And I can share that love with these, the younger generation, but it came from the people that came before me. And and I just thinking about the amazing talents and the amazing people who come from the marching band. I mean, Cora is amazing. And and to look at her in, in the actual music profession and being in, in the front of that, as a direct, you know, I don't say descendant, but you know what I mean? Like direct mm -hmm, absolutely. From, from this. But then I think where I come in is that it's not just about being a musician. There's so many other things you can be. And it's because I saw it. 
because I, I, the people that came before me, I saw it being done. And I think Cora may have felt the same way because when she went to work with Dr. Irby and, and, and the other professors there, she could see what that lineage looked like, that legacy that she was talking about. So she saw the musical legacy on one side. I saw the other legacy on the other side. But we still, the, the common thread is the excellence of the of the marching band and the leadership that comes along with that and the support from the university for the things that we feel are important, um, you know, in music education. So I'm thankful for my connections. I'm thankful for all all the things that the band has given me like I said, I got a husband out of it. <laughs> I got good friends like Cora and my, you know, my other friends from undergrad. And I got the leadership opportunities through Target and Sigma. Um, and that all played into the next step of, of what I did as a physician and what I continue to do as a physician. So I'm, I'm eternally grateful for that and for that experience.